kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, All right, so we just started recording, and Aline, um, it's great to meet you. Uh, so first off, um, really appreciate you coming on here and actually recording with me. Um, but tell me about you, who you are, what you're doing, and what are your goals? Okay, so um, my name is Aline, and um, I just recently started a... Um, uh, an LLC uh, specifically for um, wholesaling uh, okay. with the potential to um, do some flips in the future and uh, hopefully some burrs and maybe mm -hmm. some Airbnb um, properties. Um, but okay. right now I'm at the very beginning stage where I am trying to figure out who I'm wholesaling to, um, okay. how to look at the information as far as like prop stream, legal news, those types of things, and identify what am I looking for specifically? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because yep. it's so new to me, it's like trying to interpret a different language. And so mm -hmm. until I know what I'm looking for, you know, um, I feel like I would be more comfortable and, you know, and, and then, you know, hopefully get you know, better at um, identifying uh, properties and who to actually market to. Um, sure. Some of my goals, um, you know, long term, you know, I'd like to kind of just get my feet wet with the wholesaling. And then, like mm -hmm. I said, slowly move into uh, some flips and uh, okay. maybe even some buy and holds. And like I said, eventually some Airbnb properties. I'd like to okay. potentially have a, a million dollar company with the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's all our goals, goals right yeah. <laughs> 100 percent. okay so first off it's awesome to start off with wholesaling because you can once you get into buying holds and, and fix and flips and things like that you can cherry pick all the good leads <laughs> you know what i mean so mm -hmm. and keep them for yourself and wholesale the rest mm -hmm. so um i also tell people that if you're going to wholesale, make sure you concentrate on wholesaling and concentrate on doing that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, don't say, well, I could, I could fix and flip this one and then try to do that. <laughs> it's it. Now I'm not going to tell people not to do that because it, everything's going to depend on them. But if you have specific goals where you want to learn wholesaling first mm -hmm. before you move on. Yes then don't do that. Okay. And I always say this is, is wholesale for the first year. Okay. Then if you choose to take a property that you get under contract, I like a cherry pick and, and, and buy and hold uh, or something like that. Now, if this was say last year where the interest rates were really low, mm -hmm. I, I'd kind of say something different. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. but it's not that, and you can afford to, to wholesale for the whole year, you know, mm -hmm. um, because you're going to come across a lot of different situations where you don't know what to do and, and you're going to have to figure out what to do. Yeah. And that, and honestly, you learn the best by doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just want to, I want to take my time and just kind of get to yep. know each step of the process. Um, yep. Yeah. Now, I, I now I don't want you to take too much time because remember <laughs> analysis paralysis. Right. Okay. I still want you jumping in there, talking to people, talking to sellers and actually digging down and, and getting into work. What I mean by that is this. There's so many people that just watch YouTube video after YouTube video after. OK, I got this process working. I got this process working yeah. and I know I know this. I know that. And then what happens is, is they get into analysis process. They don't want to move forward until they know the whole process to know everything. Mm hmm. And my thing is this, you can know the basics, know the process, a little bit of how it works. And then what you do is, is you concentrate on the beginning part, the acquisition. Okay. 
So concentrate on the acquisition. Okay. Because there's a lot of things that you can do during the acquisition part and a lot of different strategies. Then what you do is you JV with somebody who has buyers. Okay. Okay. Somebody either like myself or somebody else who is not myself. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not telling you to JV with me by like, you don't have to. Um, but somebody who has buyers where now you're not worried about that, but guess what? They're more experienced. They'll walk you through that whole process. Now, by you doing the deal, you're actually seeing the process go. Yeah. And that's exactly okay. what I want to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I want to know the paperwork. I want to know yep. everything I need to do. So that way, if I come across an excellent, you know, a, mm -hmm. a deal or, you know, I'm able to get something under contract, you know, I feel comfortable doing that. So 100%. Uh, do you so do you have contracts right now no i do not okay um do you have so what is it tell me what you do have and what you do know about wholesaling so what uh, resources do you have um so right now i'm connected to prop stream i have um i okay. also on legal news um and so those are pretty much all the information that i have at this point um okay. i have i've you know and i and so, like I said, it's it's me looking at those things and having a better understanding of what I'm looking for. So I know the next step is marketing and calling, you know, calling yes. marketing. And, um, you know, but I know that when it comes to foreclosures, there's a time frame, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm just a little shaky on the details of that's like, okay you know, what my eyeballs need to see so I can figure it out and, and just go ahead and start calling people. You know? Sure. So the first thing you need to do is get lists. Okay. Um, you need to get lists together, figure out your criteria, whether you're going to do prop stream. And then also you said you had the legal news as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is actually very important because legal news is kind of expensive. So to be honest, so, um, the fact that you do have that is really good. So what I would be doing is I'd be looking at how often they update those every day. And anytime mm -hmm. you get something new, Mm -hmm. it, uh, on the legal news, mm -hmm. grab it, um, skip trace them to get their phone number. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and give them a call almost immediately. Okay. Okay. So I think they update that weekly. Is that right? I think it's updated daily, daily. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I would be looking at that every day, compare it to the list that you already have say, okay. okay. Oh no, this is a new person. This is a new person, you know? Okay, now you need to add them to your list, skip trace them, give them a call. Whoever you don't contact, keep calling them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to keep on the follow up. And I think your the legal news is probably going to be the best source for the best leads. Okay. okay. Now, I tell people this is I think a really good um just starting you know, start off with it is a, a good list is a driving for dollars list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you, you have prop stream there, they do have a mobile version of the app and with your account, you can actually create a list and do a driving for dollars with prop stream. Okay. So I didn't know if you knew that or not. So, yeah, I'm still, like I said, I'm still kind of like figuring it, out it's, it's not the, it's not the best. It's not the best. <laughs> I'll tell you that yeah. the, the best out there is called deal machine. Oh, okay. okay. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from what I hear, they are, they have the best, um, driving for dollars app. Okay. Okay. Um, but it's another, it's another fee like yeah. prop stream. Yeah. The reason why I mentioned prop stream is because you already have it and it's included okay. in what you pay currently. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't want you going out there spending a ton of money, a, a ton more money. I want you to use what you have now and utilize that. Okay. okay. The skip tracing is going to cost you money, of course, and whatever you currently have is going to cost you money. Okay. But I'd rather you use currently what you have until you get your first deal. Your first deal is going to pay for everything. Okay. Good. Um, so, you know, keep, I mean, my first deal, it paid for my first four months or yeah, my first four months of marketing. Okay. I took me four months to get my first deal. And I had my first, my, my first check on there was $1,300. That's great. Actually $1,333 because okay. it was split <laughs> three ways. 
Nice. Okay. And that was enough to pay for my marketing for, for all this. So I was at that point I was broke even, but it was the most important check that I did because it, it gave me a proof of concept. Okay. Okay. So your first one's going to be the most important. I, I promise you that no matter how much it is. All right. So it could be $10. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, <laughs> right. it's not going to be, but right. I, I will say it's going to be, you're going to go I, ever. I learn something new from every single deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because there's always something that pops up, whether it be with the seller, whether it be with the buyer, whether it be with title, something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we'll start off with, okay, your lead generation, because that's where, you, that's where you have to, you have to start off with is your leads. Okay. How are you going to get leads? What are you going to do? You have prop stream. You can do a driving for dollars list. You can also search for lists, list criteria. So I would also, I, I'd also test certain criterias, like I would do it on more of a, um, like certain areas like test out like really niche lists mm -hmm. and what i mean by test is is you get a very niche list and then you get skip trace and you cold call now you look at the analytics of the cold calling and you say okay how many people said yes how many people said no how many people said not now how many people answered how many people wrong number so on and so forth okay okay and by the data is what you have to do and that's how you determine whether it's a good list or not okay okay so and but i would start off with the driving for dollars and the legal news okay those are the two things that you have access to right now that i would do okay now you said you had questions about the foreclosure process and you know everything that's going on with the legal news and and with that so the good thing is is that you don't have to know everything right off the bat mm -hmm. all you have to know is to get the right information from the seller okay mm -hmm. how long are you backed up what are you in arrears what are you um did it go to auction yet did it not go to auction so on and so forth okay mm -hmm. did you just get the notice is it is it three months ago you got the notice is it you know you figure out the timeline on where you're at and then that determines on and then then you also got to figure out what the balance is or what they're looking to get out of the property because sometimes we could do a creative deal and if they if they need too much well maybe we can catch up their rears and do a sub two deal and we can you can always wholesale sub two deal as well okay. okay do you know what sub two is i subject to financing but i'm not exactly sure it's subject to the existing mortgage subject to the existing mortgage okay yep so and that will determine on whether there's a lot of it's it's called creative financing mm -hmm. there's a lot of creative ways to do things okay so um there's a lot of different strategies that you can and that's where you when you jv with somebody um they can help you out as much as possible with that okay, okay. so i'm happy to you know me I'm, I'm an open book um i'm happy to uh give out as much knowledge if, if you come jv with me on any of these deals um basically if you bring me a seller even if you don't have it locked up I'm not going to go behind your back or do anything. We are, can, we are now JV'd on that deal. Okay? okay. And I will walk you through the entire process from start to start to finish. Okay. Even if we don't get it locked up and they decide to go someplace else, I'm not going to go back and try to get it from you. That, that's just not me. Integrity and everything is, that's all about what I do. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room